Oh boy, we're going straight in this and didn't even get an intro. What's going on everyone? My name is Kamenera and welcome to episode, I believe, 5 of a comma plays of Fate Extra. Uh, we kind of jumped right into this. I expected to spawn into my room, but we didn't even get that, so we're going uh, straight into story by the looks of things. Now, you know, uh, I'd like to apologize for a bit of a, like, the last few days having no uploads. Uh, I wanted to wait for that Fate Extra Record announcement, which I'll, I'll talk about that later. Just in case you didn't check out that reaction video, I gave my thoughts on it, but I'll, like, you know, give, like, a nutshell version later. My controller isn't... Oh, God, my controller's being weird. Give me a second. Okay, my controller's gonna be a bit weird, but... Anyways, yeah, I'll get my thoughts on that later, just for anyone that didn't check the reaction video. And, again, like, apologies for, like, not uploading, like, lately. Uh, last few days since the announcement, I've had a lot of stuff going on. So, I haven't really had a chance to record. Just I haven't, like, been in the, like, mood to record because of it. But, uh, I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm in a, like, you know, I'm, like, in the mood to record now, so. That's enough talking, let's get into the story. <clears throat> Today's the elimination battle. I hope you're fully prepared. When I turn back to look at the person speaking behind me, I see Kotomine standing there. Right. The elimination battle is today. A day that will be the last for either Shinji or myself. Oh yes, I can't wait to erase that piece of shit. Just what a son of a bitch. Will someone really die today? I mean, even though I can say the words, the idea that someone's going to die is just too surreal. It can't be reality. Come to me when you are ready. You can do something trifling, like stop by the commissary if needed. Apparently finished, he opens the door and lets himself out. Alright, this is the very first elimination battle. Let's go. Fight Shinji on the battlefield. On the alienation battle, you can review the data you collect from your opponent in the private room. If you complete the information matrix on your opponent, you'll be given the chance for its level to extra. If your matrix at E, you will see more of the foe's moves as well as when they will use their noble phantasm. Okay. I'll check the matrix. Did I fill out his matrix? No! What did I miss? I missed, like, the first thing. Oh, that sucks. Damn. <laughs> oh god, it's silent. Oh, that's why we can't go in there. It's... For, like, the big battles. Well, first off, I need to go perform an alteration of soul. Yep, let's do it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go all out magic. Since that seems to be caster's specialty. I'll have to be that much easier. No, I, I don't know why I asked you if you want to do another alteration when. Like, realistically, if you use your alterations. Like, you're not gonna leave any luck for skill points, there's no point. Anyways. 
Oh, and like, again, as you always, like, sorry for any lag that pops up, that's a bit of lag because it's loading the HD textures. So, powerful versus break, powerful versus attack. Okay, so, like, caster's like a hard counter. It looks things. Oh, and we're back to the dead silence. Well, I'm gonna go to the commissary, which I believe is... Maybe there's a fancy word for the cafeteria? I don't know. Let's see. I want a lot of ether shards. For healing. These don't even like, matter. I don't they don't give nearly enough MP to be worth buying them. So I'm gonna save right now before we go to Kotomina. Like now that I performed the alteration and sold all that. Damn, I'm still upset I missed something about Ryder. You will now enter the Colosseum and confront the opposing master. Are you ready? I take a moment to ponder before answering Father Kotomina. Before going into battle, I should take the time to review everything I learned this week. I should go back to my room and review what I've learned. It'll help me calm down a little. Okay. <clears throat> Ugh, still a bit upset I missed one detail about Drake. Don't worry about your mistakes. It was your first time, after all. You still have my love and respect. You know, just beginner's unluck. I next was that fashion victim, right? Don't worry, I can take him. The elimination battle has finally come. After we all see him, I'll face Shinji in battle. One of us will die. I hope the information that I've collected is accurate. I should review it. Shinji Mato, a friend of sorts from the prep period, who I just can't bring myself to hate. <laughs> Speak for yourself. The weapon that a certain servant wields is... Pistols. <clears throat> That's right. When I got a taste of her power in the arena, she was dual wielding old fashioned pistols. She and the socially retarded Shinji make a good pair of troublemakers. She's like his wild big sister. Also, Shinji had the note that he found from his servant. What did the note say her noble phantasm was? <clears throat> a ship. The paper was old and the handwriting scratchy. I could read her ship's name. The Golden Hind. From her attack, I deduced that she captained the ship, and that's when I realized her class was Ryder. I also would like to apologize for letting uh, Ryder's name slip earlier, but at this point, like, we're either about to learn it, or we should have learned it by now, so it's okay. He's been downright childish at times, like when he blocked me from entering the arena. And slowly but surely, I pieced together the true identity of Shinji's servant. Her true name is probably... Yeah, okay. Enemy Sir Matrix Generation. Oh man, it's gonna suck. I know a lot of servants. Actually, in, actually, now I think about it. Did I have to guess that? Like, cause if you're not a history buff, like, how would you know that answer? This feels... I don't know. Eh. I mean, I know from Grand Order, which, I mean, kind of sucks, because I mean, I'm going to be able to identify a lot of servants more than likely. But, uh, we'll see. 
Francis Drake, Francis Drake, a renowned pirate who circumnavigated the world through the Cape of Good Hope. A man, or woman, who gained instant fame after destroying the invincible Spanish Armada. At any rate, it's a lucky thing I figured out her true name before the elimination battle. Shinji may be a fool at times, but there's no arguing that he's a hacker of incomparable talent. I hope these tidbits of information can bridge the difference in our skill levels. Yeah, let's hope. Well, let's save and then go kick his ass. Actually, first, let's check the info on him. Francis Drake, Noble Phantasm Unknown. Okay. Wait, there's more to that. The person who circumnavigated the globe and paved the way for England to become the dominant superpower in the Age of Discovery through its substantial earnings. This person was also the one who was given credit for the virtual destruction of Spain's invincible armada, which caused a nation once thought of as the kingdom on which the sun will never set to teeter on the edge of collapse. She is a person who dedicated her life to hedonistic pursuits and sees no difference between a paragon of virtue and a rogue scoundrel. She revels in all things gaudy, whether they are in war or in her private life, and is content and content to chase after ephemeral pleasures and leave nothing of worth behind much like the passing of a raging storm. She is particularly entranced with treasures of gold and silver, but her true love lies not with enduring treasure. Here, but those treasures that explode like fireworks and then quickly fade away. As she so often declares, I chase after gold so I can scatter it like a storm. It is for this reason that she is wholly incompatible with the hero legend that symbolizes an inexhaustible treasury. She would also be at odds with the fox-eared caster, as caster is the ep epitome of eternity. Ah, so I'm guessing the hero of legend that symbolizes an inexhaustible treasury would be Gilgamesh. Because, like, we all know who Gil is, and I don't think they would get along. Not too sure about why it needs to be at all casters, because of the whole, you know, she doesn't hold on to anything. As a vote libertine, all that matters to her is the inedible crash at the end of it all. A legendary, a heroic spirit who is completely indifferent to frailty of human existence. She is content to indulge in her own whims and desires until death comes to greet her. She died of this century at the age of 55. Her dying wishes to be buried in her full armor. Huh. Neat. Oh, well, time to go kill her. And her master. I don't care what my character thinks about Shinji. I want him dead. You will now enter the Coliseum and confront the opposing master. Are you ready? Remember, the only way to leave the Coliseum is to win. If you are ready, I will open the gate. I feel like my voice for Kotomina changed completely. The way to the Coliseum is now open, young master. I wish you the best of luck and hope that you will return. Remember, it's kill or be killed. Let's go. Time to go murder Shinji's ass. Oh, it's an elevator. Let's go, Caster. Let's go and kill his ass. Look at it and chicken out and run away. Oh, right. I forgot following directions is all you're good at. You can shut the fuck up, man. Please. Get a clue, huh? Well, you can't say I didn't show you how awesome I was in the prep period. Never in a million years are you going to defeat me. Should have ran away when you had the chance. You can do that? What the hell would I know? Who's like that aren't meant for me? 
worms like you need a place to crawl away to. Am I right? Dude, you're a fucking asshole. I mean, hey, I'm a fair guy. I don't like fighting against losers any more than the next talented guy. But I guess I better get used to it. Since nobody here can defeat me. My servant Eldrake and I are completely invincible. And you some seriously shitty luck to have gotten paired with me in the first round. Okay, dude, you can stop sucking your own dick. We get it, you're awesome. Don't worry. Since we're such good friends, I'll make sure you go out with a big bang. Oh, hey! You got my great idea! You gotta hear this, ready? Ah, eh, sure, why the fuck not? Always a goody two shoes, you gotta love it. Well, I hope you'll take one more direction. Why don't you lose on purpose this time? <laughs> Anything else is a waste of time! Obviously, even a landslide victory against you will cost me energy. Even decided battles like this one still are unfair because the victor has to waste their strengths. I feel like I'm not doing Shinji's voice that I was doing before. Sounds lame, so do me a favor and just throw that match. Then I win and you don't get hurt, see? What you think? Makes still sense, huh? You even feel all warm and fuzzy for helping me out. And there's something in it for you, right? And because we ain't fought for real, no way my servant could hold back. I'll, I'll even throw in some of the prize money. Money I'll win. All I want is a title anyway. Come on, this is a great idea or a great idea. Friends helping each other out and all that jazz. I'm too appalled to respond. What? Cat got your tongue? Just say something already. Oh, I get it. You're so happy you're all choked up. Then get your servant to answer me, huh? You're so kind for extending the gift of your friendship to a moron like this, Master. What? How dare you speak to me like that? You're just a servant. <laughs> they have a point, Master. Hey, whose side are you on? Your side, of course. You paid me, so I'll fight by your side. Hey, them throw the match would not satisfy either of us. I just like giving less than my full effort. Let your winning instincts take over. Everything's better if you fight for it. What? If you fight for it, food. Fight. Oh, I get it. If you fight for it, food, woman, victory. Besides, we're villains. That means if nothing else, we're allowed to be splashy. If you're gonna be a villain, might as well be as flamboyant as you please. Don't hold back. I'm not a villain. Don't call me that, you you evil woman. <laughs> temper, temper, little one. You got big balls or you're such a tiny man. I admire that. Hey, stop! I said stop! Don't pat my head, you baboon! And you reek of alcohol. They're perfect for each other. I know masters and servants are paired by compatibility. Will their chemistry be constructive in battle? Hmm. Ah, too bad they have to die. The elevator rumbles to a halt. This must be where we're going. Hmm. I was gonna spare your life, but you surrendered. But since everybody insists, I'll show you the vast difference in our abilities until you cry for mercy. Once Eldrake's Cal. Culverin makes this cheese out of you, it'll be too late. Once this is over, we'll not have to see that jerk again. Right, Master? The battle might be over so fast that I won't get to show off. Wait for round two, then. I'll bark and no bite, right? That's what they say, isn't it? Well, that's you. I'm gonna humiliate you so bad that after this game, you'll never crawl out of your mom's basement. Ah, oh, so your goal isn't just victory, but humiliation? What a greedy little boy you are, Shinji. 
Very well. I'll bring you the rope. I'll bring the rope for you to trust them up. Tell them to master whatever your little heart desires. I don't even think about going easy on them, Eldrake. And you should have backed down when they could. <laughs> Mercy isn't in my vocabulary. I have a thirst for the finer things in life, and that's all I care for. I may not always have good fortunes, but the humans are bombs with a certain fatal end of ability to life. Now, are you ready to go for broke? It's time to splurge. Let's go. Caster versus Rider. Live or die with a sword. I didn't get to read any of that. Break, attack, break. So I'm guard, attack, attack, break, attack, break. I want to guard. I want to break, attack. Wait, no, break, guard, break. Break guard, break guard. Break guard. Is it really that easy? Yeah, don't worry, I got you, Caster. So I just gotta memorize some patterns. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh my god, I just got crit. Please tell me it lets me re- Okay, good. I did not want to, need to sit through that cutscene again. Oh, this is gonna be brutal, isn't it? I expected Matrix Level E to reveal a bit more to me. You know, attack, attack, guard. Was it attack, attack, attack after that? <clears throat> and let's get that triple. Almost got a perfect there. Oh, she has a shitload of HP though. Oh yeah, I think this is the attack guard, attack guard, attack guard, isn't it? God, you deal so much damage even through my shield. Actually, 
Now I just take an ether shard. So. <clears throat> I think this was the pattern for this one. Okay, now with break guard, break guard. This should be the pattern. Yep. Okay, I should have battled down then. That's the same pattern again. No, it was break guard damn it. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Ooh, I don't think I'm gonna survive this turn. Yeah, now. I hope you don't mind a lot of trial and error. I, I, I've learned the patterns, it's just that it's not distinct patterns. Like it typically goes down to either attack or attack guard or break guard, break guard, like those kind of patterns. Too bad. Ooh, look at that damage. Break guard, break guard, break guard. So I can see both ways to attack, then I'm fine. Hey, it just comes down to... Ah, shite. God, I hate the unblockable cannon bullshit. I still have already made more progress than last time. Patterns are super simplistic. I still hate the Culver and Cannons though. Can those crit? I don't think I want to find out. Anyway, we're gonna have to use a Code Cast heal. Something that can heal caster enough. Okay, so guard attack. Guard, okay, so guard attack combo. I really wish I had my noble phantasm, but. Uh... I'll probably unlock it eventually. I hope.
But yeah, like, the combos are, like, really simplistic to learn. Like, see? Like, it just, like, the only thing that can kill me is, like, Noble Phantasm, I'll assume, and, like, her use of, of skills. Those are unblockable and heal, like, half my HP. Still, I'm doing pretty damn good. Gotta keep going. We know. Break, guard, break. Guard, attack, attack. Was that this combo? I don't remember. Wait, now what am I doing? Let's see. Attack, guard, attack. Okay, now. We know, yeah, because it's... Ah, I don't remember this pattern. Mother... So it was guard, guard, attack. Guard, attack. Guard. You're getting your own servant murdered by your own fucking incompetence. Dude. Yeah, she's a lot stronger than I am. Admit that once you find the patterns like required, like the like the combat doesn't get a bit repetitive. Like once you find the right patterns, but I mean it's no big deal. Like it's still fun. Like even if it is just another like another case of chipping away at HP values. Ah shit, I don't know if she has break or guard. Hmm. Yeah, it's like a gamble. I guess I'll skill back then. Ah, oh, yeah, shit, it was guard, not break. This is gonna hurt. Just starting to get low. Be able to do this. So that'd be break attack. So guard attack, guard attack, guard attack. Simple as shut. Now imagine if you could heal the way I do. <laughs> yeah, this would be a very long battle. I don't like the look of that symbol in the top right. That doesn't look good.
That looks very not good. Hmm. I mean, that's all I can do, isn't it? I am not gonna survive this. Damn it, it was the wrong one. Now I'm gonna get no phantasm and died. No phantasm didn't die. How much damage is it gonna deal? That's an insta kill, what? So when I see her hit that HP range, I just want to go all in. Like when she starts, like when she NPs, I just need to go all in on everything. Okay, I'll probably, I think I'll probably cut out this battle until we get to where we were. So, be right back. Okay, let's go for it. Here's hoping this is enough. It should be enough. This looks like it'll be enough, right? Like skill spam? Ah, oh, shit, she guarded it. Don't you fucking dare guard it all. Wait, I stunned her out of her noble phantasm. She couldn't use it. Let's see. I shouldn't have used it all at once, because now I can't refill her. Well, I should not. I got it. I just need to survive this one hit, and I should have it. Come on, caster, survive. That did a lot less damage than the first time, where it did nearly full HP. Like last time that hit did 435 damage. Oh, he's- I heard- I could tell just from the noise he made there. Like, I can't even understand what he's saying, but I can tell that he's panicking that I survived that. I 
Actually, I'm gonna heal up real quick. Breathe out. Guard, break, guard, break. And this should be into the battle. I think. Come on, Casper, show Moose Boss. Boom. Down goes the Drake. Ooh, that's a good deal of EXP. Nice. Oh, then. Let's continue on and see Shinji suffer. What the hell? How did my servant get defeated? No matter how you look at it, I'm the best at, at everything. You can't lose in the first round. It, it's your fault, Eldrick. It's happened because you suck. Huh? I'm flogging a waterlogged sailor, are we? It won't reverse your fortunes, master. Ugh. You've got the idea to talk back and go fight. There's no way I'm losing this. Hmm. I don't think that's happening. Did your guy have been shot in the heart? I'm gonna disappear. Say what? Then you can run away and leave me here? I lost because of you. My fault? Perhaps. Or it could have been like could have been carelessness. Or lack of tenacity, luck, ability, etc. Well, whatever. Fortune is fickle and fate is what we make of it. We lost for a reason. We may be strong, but we didn't have what it takes to win. Why are you making it sound like somebody else's problem? I did what I'm supposed to do. I'm the best. It wasn't supposed to go like this. You ruined everything by becoming my servant. Useless. Damn it. I can't believe I lost. This game sucks. Sucks. Master, I'll see if this filth can go back to your room already. When we get back, will you pat me on the head for a job well done? Hey, w wait, hey! I got an idea. How about you declare I won the battle? Because, you know, you just won this battle by accident. There's a 100% chance you'll lose in the second round. But I'll win it for sure. Think about it. Isn't it better for one of us to keep winning than for you to lose in the next round? Hey. Wait, I said wait! Can't you see the equation? I'm saying I'll share the Holy Grail with you. Yeah, yeah. Get out, Shinji. You've lost and you know it. You can't change what happened. Sh shut up! We lost because of you! What makes you think you have the right to act so bossy? Damn it. Ugh. You may have won this one game, don't get a big head over it. In real life, I'm still a champion. Listen, when I go home, I'm gonna figure out who you really are and... What? What the hell is going on? My body's... disappearing? I've never logged out like this. Uh-oh. She just had a desperate cry as his arms, legs, and torso gradually fizzle in blackness. Ugh. I'm guessing this is the deletion that Kyrie was mentioning. Losers die in the Holy Grail War. As a master, you should have known that, Shinji. Wh what? D die? But just our avatars get erased, right? There's no way you can die in a virtual world. Yes. You lose, you die. This is a war, not a game. Most everyone who joins this war ends up dead. The sole survivor is the only one who can go home alive. What? No way! This isn't funny. What is a tournament? 
This is so it's a game, right? Right? Uh, wh why isn't this stopping? D do something! Isn't that terms of the help their master? If it was easy to break the rules, they wouldn't have created them in the first place. What? Well, the good and bad are both sent off to another world in the end. Nothing to complain about. Acting like you know so much. Aren't you ashamed at all? First you lose. And now this? My controller keeps disconnecting. Sorry about that. Hmm? Am I ashamed? Of course I am. I'm so disgusted with myself I could throw up. But remember what I told you when we made our contract, little boy? Be repaired. Because a villain's final moments are laughably miserable. His servant gives a hearty laugh, you know, as her body is being erased by the system. Consider the things you've done. Consider anything you've done isn't such a bad death. Just let yourself go, Shinji. And you folks over there, let's hear some laughter, huh? It's sad when a clown doesn't get a laugh. May the rest of your journey go well. I'd like it if you ended up stronger than me. In life, I fought against the military ships. It's against my nature to enjoy fighting weaker opponents. And yet we won. Somehow. As she turned a forced smile my way, the female pirate disappeared. She was a great navigator, and the first person to circumnavigate the world. And she went out laughing. Now she's gone, the Shinji must know what his fate is. Hey, who gave you permission to disappear like that? You gotta help me! Don't leave me! Oh, oh god. Then you, you help me! If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be in this situation right now. You owe me! No, no. I'm disappearing. Didn't we used to be friends? Help me! Uh, uh, I'm disappearing. Why? Why does it feel like I'm gonna die in real life, too? What the hell? This is crazy. Help! Why aren't you helping me? I'm only eight years old. I don't want to die yet. That is only eight? What? He's gone. The person known as Shinji Mato has been erased from existence. The only thing he has left behind is me, the victor. And so, round one of the Holy Grail War comes to a close. Wait, so... He was a kid in real life? I mean, that would explain a lot, really. It explains why he's so oblivious with the nature of the war. Like, the whole thing about dying. It explains why, you know, he was... Like so childish. It does explain a lot, yeah. God damn it, you make me feel bad now of all times. That fight is over. And I've won, and Shinji's lost. And so Shinji will meet death. Can it be true? I know what I saw, but it doesn't feel real. Has his life been lost forever? Just because I won? Without any explanation or greater meaning? It appears that the first round's now over. I wonder how long I stood there, dumbfounded. When I finally came to, Ren Tosaka was staring at me. Even though Shinji was the one who chose to fight you, he's the one who ended up dead. The reigning game champion of Asia is defeated. The moron didn't have a clue to fight for, how to fight for his life. Such is the fate of any mages who treats the Holy Grail War like a game. A pathetic way to die, no? I automatically opened my mouth to defend the dead from desecration. This place is a battlefield. What sense is there in exalting someone who is, who is this old defeat? The look in her eyes and her words drove on message. 
on the field of battle, losers die. It should have been obvious, but apparently not the Shinji and I. The winner of the Holy Grail War can be granted any wish, but there's only one winner. Everyone who enters has wishes and dreams, things they desire to have at any cost, things worth dying for. You don't seem to have regained any of your memory yet. It's better that way, to lack a motive, that is. But you should at least be mentally prepared. If you're not ready to kill or be killed, it'd be better to go hide under a rock. I'm prepared. Right. As long as you mean it. Rin is right about everything. Everyone who makes a stand here fights with a strong will. There's not a single one I could defeat without a hard fight first. I still don't have a reason to fight. I can't even think about killing and being killed until I have some reason to fight. That said, what right do I have to trample other people's dreams? It's the nature of the Holy Grail War. Sleepy caster is sleepy. Oh, I'm upset. So close to finishing the second floor. But not quite. Too bad. Hunt of the Golden Hind, Golden Stag, and the Outside Tempest. Ah, uh, okay. This old phantom is riders ace in the hole and forms the basis of her day to day life. With her flagship, the Golden Hind at the fore, a vast flotilla of smaller caps expand ever outward and exterminates her enemies with overwhelming firepower. Its attributes contain vestiges of not only the fleet that eventually defeated the might Peace Smash Armada, but also the stories involving the Golden Stag and the Eventide Tempest that spread throughout the whole of Europe. <clears throat> the Eventide Tempest is the encapsulation of all storm, from blizzards to cyclones, which manifests in the imagination of men and beasts and soldiers, soldiers and monsters. A menace beasts and soldiers, saviors and monsters. Depending on who is speaking, leader of the apparitions ranges. Oh my god, controller, please. From a fallen King Arthur to the North God Norse god Odin at the first mur the first murder I met in Cain. In England, it is believed that French Strike rise the endless storm, despite the fact that the role of the sign to her is usually given to Muslim figures of history and myth. Interesting. Rider on the storm. She compels those who serve her to do as she commands, as the ability to lead is essential in her position, this unique skill has an effect on charisma and military tactics. This unique ability is given to those heroes whose exploits become turning points in human history. Any difficult voyage and instrumental challenge cease to be impossible and become events to be realized. Francis is Draco. Sir Francis Drake is generally considered the first person to completely circumnavigate the globe. The first person known to have attempted the street for an Ferdinand, Ferdinand Magellan was killed halfway through his voyage. Though a male in life, Francis Drake has materialized in fate extra as a woman. During the time of Francis Drake, England was considered to be a second-rate power with real in no real influence beyond its borders and no colonies of worth overseas. It was primarily due to his voyages and excesses on the high seas that gave rise to the British Empire. The combination of the wealth he brought to the country and the detailed maps he produced while circumnavigating the globe allowed Britain to assemble a fleet that rivaled that of Spain's. An oft-mentioned aspect of the Drake mythos is that of a ship, the Golden Hind. Not only was it the flagship of Drake's fleet, it was seen as a symbol of hope and source of miracles. The exploits of the Golden Hind made possible elevated Drake, known as known and feared by changes of Eldrak, to a level on par with King Arthur. Both are said to dwell in Avalon, the city of the dead, and will eventually return to lead England in true glory. Gringo is said to be the fond contention between England and Spain's invincible armada. Francis Drake was commissioned as Vice Admiral in the English Navy. Using an unorthodox strategy involving the use of fire ships, forcing the Spanish fleet in open water where they could be bombarded with cannon fire. Yeah, so Drake was a badass. Noble Phantasm with an ass to deal with, huh? So 
So is that the end of round one then? Well, let's find out. Yep, that's round two coming up. Well, in that case, this is where the last episode of round one comes to an end. Uh, we watched Shinji die horribly. We found out Shinji was only eight years old. And, uh, god damn. Like, now I feel bad, because, like, this entire time I thought he was just, like, a teenage asshole. But no, he's a kid. And, um, yeah, that was depressing. Didn't want to see Shinji die that way. Well, I did. But I didn't want to uh, once I heard once I uh, heard that he's only eight fucking years old. Because I'll admit to being heartless, but I'm not heartless to children. Unless he was lying, in which case, fuck him. But uh, before we close out this episode, I'm going to like, give a quick breakdown of my thoughts on Fate Extra Record. Now, first off, if it comes to PC, I will play it. Even if I finish this game, I will replay this game... To see it, how it is, you know, remade for, like, you know, current gen. Now, the biggest worry I have is that they specified current gen hardware, which would imply, like, you know, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, all like that. It didn't mention PC, so I'm not sure if it's coming to PC or not. If it does, I will play it. If it doesn't, I probably won't. That's just going to be how it is, because I don't have a capture card. But, like, I also mentioned, uh, you know, like the potential of CCC maybe getting an announcement down the line. I doubt it, because we haven't got an announcement for, like, Fate Extra CCC record, or whatever it would be called. Again, as m interested I, as I am in the idea of CCC finally getting localization, now that it's, you know, ten years later, and... Well, I was to say, and the world's grown up, but no, like, feels like America's all the same as it's ever been, so... We'll see. I'd love to see CCC port at some point. Like, not sorry, not port localization. Maybe even a remake. But, honestly, I doubt it. And for the sake of uh, Iwakura's team, which are like the people that are doing the fan translations of the game, like, for the sake of their sanity, I'm going to hope the game doesn't. Because as awesome as it would be, it's really, like, in Iwakura's team's best interest that it doesn't. I can't imagine how much they were panicking when they heard that Fate was going to be getting something for, like, Fate Extra's 10th anniversary. But I'm not going to ramble on if you want to, like, hear, like, you know, my thoughts in depth regarding, like, CCC's, like, possible low edition and all that. And, like, my full thoughts on Extra Record. Like, go check out the, uh, you know, the, re the reaction video. Uh, it should be in the end cards. If it's not, you can just find it by checking out my channel real quick. Because I don't have many videos, it should be the last one I posted. Now then. This has been the end of round one of Fate Extra. Didn't know how many rounds it's going to be. But I'm going to stick to the same pattern of two of uh, three episodes, two days each. And then the final battle being its own episode. That'll be the pattern we're going to stick to. So each... Round should be around four episodes. Now then, with all that said and done, I have been Kamenira. This has been episode five of Fate Extra. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you next time.